Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Premier League. Your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler. With me today, Alan Smith, and we've got a match from the Barclays Premier League for you. Yep, thanks, Martin. Delighted to be here, as I always am for these occasions. The game today features Sunderland against West Ham United. Ramsey Dool is the referee today. Adam Johnson, he will be determined to do a bit better than in his recent games. He is better than those performances have shown, surely he is. Yeah, and I think uh, the manager, rightfully so, he's given him a, another chance, but... Opportunity here! Joey Barton. Well, there's clearly no love lost between the home fans and this player. He's being challenged now. He's got to score! Courageous goalkeeping to come out where the boots are flying. It's so important for the modern-day keeper to, to adopt a good starting position and to act as the, as the sweeper for that back four. For West Ham, a genuine challenge, but a genuine prospect of victory if they get it. And he's going to shoot! Well, he had a try. With his weaker foot, sometimes you just have a swing and if you connect sweetly you get a spectacular goal that surprises you as much as the opposition. Yeah, and when you don't connect sweetly, it looks a little bit embarrassing and he did out there. West Ham United back in action again after their last game, which was away, and they drew against Stoke City. Yeah, not too much to split the side, certainly at the end it was 2-2. I think both teams will feel they can win it. I'm not sure either will actually here again, I think it might be another draw. Here's an opportunity. In a goal. And Ramsey Dole, the referee, just stepping in to sort this one out. Well, he's still playing for his current team, Alan, but, you know, these rumours are gathering strength now, and I'm sure that will be an official bid, and he'll be off soon. It looks that way, doesn't it? I mean, he's certainly in the spotlight here, given all the fuel that surrounded his potential move, so uh, he would be uh, best served to give it his all and show everybody exactly what he can do. Giacarini. Well read by the defender to intercept. It's an attacking play from Sunderland. Got the tackle in. tackle and the opposition court coming forward there might be some gaps here Downing it's going to be a goal surely he's gone for goal in the end it was the connection with the shot that ruined the shot yeah and it's so often you see a badly hit ball go in because it's uh, outwards the keeper but not on this occasion Andy Carroll good defending possession back Younes Kabul Lee Cantamon dangerous moment oh, he takes the shot and he knocks in the goal well, this is a team and a half to be honest, and they're running uh, the opposition ragged and a goal to show for it. It's wonderful to see. I mean, they're creating chances at will, and you don't see that too often. You have to say that's great accuracy of the strike, because the way he's hit that just under the bar, the keeper had no chance.
Manga. Jack Colback. Two more minutes to be played then, added time. Tries to make the tackle. Mark Noble. That's half time. Signaled by the referee. 1 0 the half time score. Coming up half time. Wow, well, that was uh, an intense first half, I think the right word is, Alan, because very hard to make openings, let alone score. Yeah, I mean, one of those can be quite exhausting because you're concentrating so much and you just wonder if it's going to continue in this way after the break. So we reach half time with West Ham leading at half time. We'll see what they're made of in the second period here. Overpowered here. What a shot with this goal advantage. They've now got a corner. Well, that's a fantastic clearance. He rose to the occasion and saved the day. Emanuele Giaccarini. He's not been in good form at all, Alan, has he? But he's been picked to start today. Yeah, I did wonder about that, Martin, but the managers. He's got to score. In with a chance. They score. to make sure of the victory. Martin Murphy, he might have thought that was going to hit the bar, but now he's just crept under. Unstoppable. Let's have another peek at that goal. And it's 2-0 here. It's a return ball. Fletcher. Carroll. Going for more glory, even though they're already in the lead. Well, they're still trailing and they need to do something now if they want to get back into this game. Maybe some fresh legs will do the trick. Andy Carroll, well, we're late now in the campaign. 16 goals so far. And uh, he's worked hard throughout the, uh, the first three quarters of the season. A big finish now would help. He would. And he is one of those players that does work hard nearly every game. He, he gives you something even if he's not scoring. Bring up for the away team. Substitution in the offing. Comes in with a tackle. Disappointed with that touch. Well, the home team will be pleased to see the visiting team sheet. Because one of those main strikers who could certainly come here and hurt them is out injured. Yeah, and on his travels this year, Martini, he has nicked one or two goals away from home. So that is a blow. Chance to get the ball in the box. And he's going to shoot. A good strike. And it's matched by the same. Well, time is ticking away. It's time for a change, and here it comes. Climbed well to head it to the supporting player. The home manager's got to just delve into his resources, his reserves, to cover for the absence of their first-choice centre-back. Yeah, and he's a, he's a leader out on the pitch normally, so they'll miss his voice and uh, his leadership qualities.
David Vaughan. And that is a super interception. Noble. To Johnson. Got the tackle in. Great Gardner. Lee Cantermont. It's a great day for West Ham United. On paper, it looked as though that there would be little between these two. Teams. Here he is with a chance. That's a clever pass. Well, there was a great chance to add to their lead. Well, you just wonder whether they're taking it easy and... You wonder whether they'll live to do that mistake. Could the opposition come back at them now? Well, the clock's showing uh, nine minutes left to play. Stuart Downing, manager chose to take him off earlier today, but the manager's delighted with him. He went and stuck his neck out for him, really. Yeah, he did, and uh, here's Joe Cole. And easily within the goalkeeper's reach, that shot. James Tompkins, Noble. Maybe the cross. Gets his foot in there. Giacarini. James Tompkins. Off he goes again, he's offside again. Josie Altidore. Barton. And the referee blows, and there's the win for West Ham United. Can't get much better than this, really, Alan, to win and keep a clean sheet. Yeah, I think that will be the pleasing aspect of it, as well as the three points, the clean sheet, uh, particularly the keeper. We'll be delighted with that. So it's full time with a final score 2 0. I'll leave you with the full match highlights, and until next time, I've been Jeff Stelling. See you then. <laughs>